The third member of the Fiendish Five was the infamous voodoo priestess, Ms. Ruby. Born into a family of mystics, other children found her scary. Teaching herself to summon the undead provided what few friends she had. A career in crime allowed an adult Ms. Ruby to punish the world for fearing her as a child. Chief mystic for the Fiendish Five, her powers allowed them to break both the laws of man and nature at the same time. Yet despite the whirlwind success of her youth, she managed to slip into obscurity. Last known sightings claim she headed out of civilization and deep into the Haitian jungle. Do you? Sure I do. My scanners have picked up verifiable paranormal activity. But that's not the problem. This swamp is oozing with disgusting mold and bacteria. Suck it up, Bentley. We got work to do. All right, then. Don't forget to use the new move you learned from Mugshot's section of the Thievius Raccoonus. You mean the Raccoon Railwalk? The roots and vines around here are perfect for that. All you gotta do is jump and hit the circle button. Especially where you see the bark has been worn away, and we're in super slick from Mickey Slime and Moss. You'll rail slide like a skater grinding pipe. I'm liking it. Oh. <laughs> 
press the circle to enter the vault code. If I did my math right, and I always do my math right, then the combination has got to be 588. Electrified! Kelly McCooper's notes on how to harness the electromagnetic field created by a rolling raccoon. Now your raccoon roll move will really pack a punch. Plus, it should give you a nice tingling sensation. You've done it! The Mojo Force Field is down, and you can steal the key! like that could only be coming off Ms. Ruby herself. I think you're right, Sly. If you want to crack at Ms. Ruby, you're going to have to find a way inside that skull temple. strength voodoo gate. Ms. Ruby must really be trying to keep something out. Or maybe she's trying to keep something in.
some personal demons to get the answer to this one. Try four, four, four. Ah, a more modern entry. Bruce O'Coop's computer hacking technique. Using the data on this page, I should be able to tap the duty roster at each hideout and project guard information into your binocucom.
This is kind of a guess, but try one, two, eight. These are the blueprints to Miss Ruby's production facility. I'll pipe this information into your binocucom. Use it to find breakables and clues nearby. with the flamethrower on your swamp skiff. Use the left analog stick to steer and press the X button to fire the flamethrower. Oh, and one more thing. You need fuel from the flamethrower and the only source of oil are those piranha you see swimming around. Run them down with the boat. One fish fuels one shot. Hurry, you only have two minutes to get all the torches lit. Thank <laughs> you. 
Looks like this is some kind of giant voodoo egg beater to stir up that unsanitary mess. If I could unlock the cauldron's lid, I might be able to thrash their production and build up enough steam pressure to get launched up to Ruby's skull temple. Okay, sounds like we've got a plan. To get around that thing, try moving in the shadows made by the masks so that the guards won't see you. Thank <laughs> you. 
analytical ability. The combination has to be 571. Mind bending. It's Matthew De La Coupe's perpetual slow motion technique. With this move, you can slow down time whenever you want, not just while jumping. Hold down the triangle button to use it. stick to move and aim the right analog stick in the direction you want to shoot. Remember, you can always shoot in one direction while moving in another.
With all the hay and feathers in here, just looking at this place has got me breaking out in hives. But we've got no choice. That ghost over there contacted me on Spectre Wave Radio, and we've cut a deal. He's promised us a key if you can whack 50 chickens. I guess he needs them to make a big pot of gumbo, but he's scared of the bob toting roosters. Be careful, or they'll blow you to bits. Think you can do it? could feel that Cooper vibe a coming. Most distastefully bad juju. Yeah, well, you give me the creeps too, lady. Cooking up an army of ghosts isn't a very neighborly pastime. <laughs> oh, Sly. I see your mouth a moving, but all I hear is blah, blah, blah. Well. If jaws need to flap, then let them flap! See you in the next world, Slack Hooper! Oh, 
come back here. You can't run away forever. Quite true. Quite true. Why don't I have my servant chumly escort you over here? All right. What's the catch? Oh, not much. Just a little game I like to play with all my annoying guests. I want to see how well you pay attention. What do you mean? Well, I'll unleash my mighty mojo magic upon you. If you repeat what I do, you'll dodge it just fine. If not, you'll get zapped. <laughs> A little voodoo Simon says, huh? Sounds easy enough.
got some rhythm, raccoon. But it won't help you none if you're fixing to go after the Panda King. He's tough, with a capital T. If you go poking around his stronghold in China, you're likely to get poked back. Yeah, well, if he's anything like the rest of you, I think I'll manage. Ms. Ruby's section of the Thievius Raccoonus held notes for my pioneering ancestor, Slight in Common. His invisibility technique allowed him to steal from corrupt pharaohs and greedy noblemen. Right on schedule, Inspector Fox's arrival cued my exit. The production of Zombies, made illegal in the World Peace Accord of 71, earned Ms. Ruby a life sentence behind bars. While the gang and I enjoyed a few weeks in the tropical sunshine, working on our tans in preparation for our next caper. Travel plans to China have all been worked out. 